When I got up this morning, I was really nervous about the day and excited, and I barely slept at all last night. I was panic stricken because I thought I'd lost my husband's toy. But lucky enough, Vicky's organised and she found it. Decided to just take control of the whole morning. Very chilled out to start with, but the whole morning just went by so quickly. I was really excited. The last hour was a bit hectic, trying to get everybody ready and the bridesmaids and everybody out the door on time. And it was just really lovely just to have everyone together because it was the first time I'd had all my closest people in the room together. Then I was shaking, had trouble doing Vicky's dress up and got very, very emotional. So I was really nervous when we were just about to leave the house. Steve, Mark's dad, was waiting for us. He just seemed really happy to be the one to take us to the church. Didn't talk a lot. Vicky was a bit quite um, subdued, but excited. So I woke up about seven. One of the groomsmen and I went for a little jog down by the riverbed and then I met the groomsmen at nine for breakfast so there was six of us. We went back to the room, got suits on, ironed the shirts. Came back and found Mark and about 20 of his mates already having a few little bevies in the garden. And then we went to the pub to meet everyone else. So by this time, I think there's about 40 of us in a big group together. And then I joined my other son and we came down to the church and we waited for the groom, who was a bit late, we thought, <laughs> to arrive. And at this point, I'm starting to feel quite nervous, but excited as well. He seemed very confident. He was determined not to drink too much, take it in his stride, and he seemed very happy about it all. We arrived at the church early, which was pretty good. And Vicky pulled up, so I kind of ran inside quickly. And a few guests were just running up and because we were quite early we were just hiding in the back of the car waiting for everyone to pass walked up the path with the bridesmaids and with my mother and Steve and we just stood outside I mean she looked stunning Vicky came down the aisle after her bridesmaids I tried not to look at her really because I knew it was going to set me off we were all really moved when we saw Vicky coming down the aisle my son looked quite surprised I think Mark looked up at me and then from that moment I was completely calm Victoria I give you this ring Mark I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage with my body I honour you all that I am I give to you and all that I have I share with you within the love of God Father, Son and Holy Spirit clothe yourselves with compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke it was love Piglet asked how do you spell love and Pooh replied you don't spell it you feel it I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife Vicky, I am so proud to be your father. I have watched you grow into a wonderful woman. I remember when you were little, you would never let your siblings get the better of you, even if that meant being one of the only girls at kickboxing. <laughs> There's one person here I owe everything to. My travel partner, my best friend, and now my wife. I knew it was going to be difficult to deliver this speech. The first time I started writing it, I was on an internal flight in the Middle East. Two Arabic guys either side of me. And I literally broke down over my laptop as I was typing it. And <laughs> one of them just turned to me and said, don't worry, it's not that bad here. <laughs> So it's been a pleasure having Mark as a friend over the past 10 years and I was delighted to be asked to be one of his best man along with Tommy. <clears throat> I do really feel privileged that I've been able to see actually Mark and Vicky uh, grow as a relationship from the start. Mark is now well and truly off the market. I'm sure there will also be a few hearts breaking in this very room. All those who have previously been given a key to the Ovens flat need to get up and they need to come and hand it in. <laughs> I love you both. Vicky, you're everything I could possibly want in a daughter. And Mark, you are so brave joining this family. <laughs> just build a good partnership, and they've got a good partnership. We're just really delighted to have Vicky join us as one of our family. Vicky, I love her so much, and I'm so happy that she's my new wife. Today has just been amazing. Um, it's been the best day ever, and I just really love it.